All right, so we have CNT 120, Chapter 5 Lab. We have the Harrisburg side up and running. Let's do everything we just did the Harrisburg side for the Philadelphia side. Uh, we'll come back and do the, the servers in, uh, towards the end, but let's get all of this connected up for the users at the Philadelphia site. So I'm going to go Physical tab. I will move out of here a little bit, go to the Philadelphia site. Go to their office building, and let's start doing the horizontal cabling. We'll do the horizontal cabling for both closets, and then we'll go back and start doing the, the patch cables for uh, the closet in the work area. So let me zoom in a little bit. Let's get the horizontal cabling for this office here. Remember, we're doing punch down one over to the closet into our patch, patch panel punch down one. Just keep everything uh, organized by number. Punch down two. Over to our rack, patch panel, punch down two. Punch down three into our rack, patch panel, here we are, punch down three and four. This really keeps things organized and helps with tracking down issues or troubleshooting issues if I keep everything organized. So there's a horizontal cabling for that office. Let's do the horizontal cabling for this office now. Punch down one again into our rack patch panel. Punch down one. Punch down two into this rack patch panel. Punch down two. Punch down three over here into this rack patch panel. Punch down three. Punch down four into this rack into patch panel. Punch down four. So there is my horizontal cabling done for both closets. Um, let's go up to the main closet up here. Let's do all the patch cables from the patch panel down to our switch. Again, straight through cables, jack one into port one. Look at that last number, um, one, zero, one, that is port one. We'll do the next one. Jack two is going to go into port two. And you'll see here, one, zero, two. We'll go to jack three and into port three. 103, and then we'll do port jack 4 into port 4 down here, 104. All right, so there's that closet done. Let's go out a level. Let's go over to this closet and do this one. Jack 1 into port 1. Jack 2 into port 2. Jack 3 into port 3. Jack 4 into port 4. There we go. Now let's do the patch cables in the work area here. We'll do PC into the first port, jack one. We'll do the laptop into the next port, jack two. Scroll over here. Let's do our patch cables here. PC into jack one. Laptop into jack two. All right, so we have all the cabling done. We have the horizontal closet and work area. Let's get the power supplies in both of our switches. Uh, so for this one, I'm actually going to go back to the logical tab, and I'll click on my switches here. Again, if these links show odd, just move the switch a little bit, and they should all snap in place. Um, some some versions of Packet Tracer have that quirk, so don't let that throw you. I'm going to click on the switch. I'm on the physical tab. I'm going to drag a power supply in, drop it in. Let me do the other switch. That way we can get these guys booted up. Power supply, power supply. Those should be booting up. We now want to add the fiber connection between the switches. So we're going to add the fiber module into the two switches. So click on this switch. I'm going to drag the fiber module here into like the first switch port. I'm going to do the second switch. Grab the fiber module into the first port. Now I can connect the two switches with my fiber link. Down there's my fiber port. Down there's my fiber port. I'll let that link settle. Now we need the copper link between this switch and the router. So I'll click on this switch and I'm going to grab the copper or the, the twisted pair copper module. I'll drag that into, I'll just use the far right slot. That way it'll be four. And now I'm going to grab a copper straight through, click on this switch, and go down to this gigabit 4, this 114. And I'm going to 
click on to here, make sure, make sure that I'm using the, um, um, should be the, should be the gigabit zero zero. Yes, because I'm using the same router as I had over there, gigabit zero zero. All right. So we'll give them a second for those link lights to settle. We'll give them a minute for those link lights to settle. And we're going to take a look at the next section. We have some servers over here we need to connect up. So uh, we'll do the physical tab, main wiring closet, and we're going to connect our servers in. I'm going to give that just a second to make sure I see that link light go on. And I do. So I now have the, the Philadelphia side cabled up. Let's go into the physical tab. We'll go into the main closet. Actually, here's all of our connections. There's the connection between the closets. Yay! I'm going to go into this main closet. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. We have some servers down here that we want to cable in to our switch. We have the DHCP, HTTP, and the DNS. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more. That way I can kind of see my rack a little bit better. I want to cable them into my switch that's here. So I'm saying that we want to have the DHCP server in port 21, the web server in 22, and the DNS server in 23. So basically these last couple ports over here. It, it doesn't matter if you're off by one, that's okay, but I just wanted to keep the servers over here away from the, the user ports. That way we definitely knew what they were. Now let me try zooming in just one notch. There we go. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to do straight through cable here. I'm going to do DHCP server into like port 21, I think is right there. There we go. And I'm going to do the next server, HTTP server, into the one below at port 22, hopefully. Yep, there we go. And then I'll scroll down. I'm actually going to do this guy. I'll scroll up and then I'll go 23 for this one. And I should see those link lights start coming online as well. Yay! All right, I'll go back out to my logical tab, and I should see those cabled into my switch at this site as well. I'll give them a second for the, the link lights to come on. And they are getting there. They are getting there. Yeah, it's just about there. Just about there. All right. So now our Philadelphia side is all cabled. This starts looking like some of the first networks we used in, in, in the uh, semester. So now that the Philadelphia side is hooked up, I'll come back in the next podcast and we'll look at all the addressing. Make sure all the addressing is working for all the nodes. Do some tests and then gather our results.